All right then, quite a few technical difficulties today. Welcome, Aaron. Good to see you here. I'm still, uh, setting up some last minute things, so. Take me a couple seconds, I spent quite a lot of time fixing settings. I'm doing all right. Had a bit of an irritating morning where my uh, internet cut out for a while. But I am here now. Unfortunately, I um, I took the time to go procure some ingredients for the carrot cake that I made. Uh, and while I was out shopping, I used the is it the Wi-Fi at the supermarket in order to download some videos to watch over the course of the day as well as uh is it post that tweet that I made informing everyone that my internet went out and but this is a direct continuation yes I do enjoy cooking direct continuation of the last time I beat Hades, so I'm anticipating some new things to happen. My mother, she's alive and well, and I just couldn't stay at Delta very long. I have to get back to her. You really made it all the way. You need to. It's gotten close to your father. That's amazing, lad. But wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was. She was great. Nothing like father, more like you a little bit, I guess. Though, being on the surface, it just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Even without the rest of the underworld trying to do me in. Well, then you had a little time, at least. It sounds like you had one unfinished business while you were there. You got to her just once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? It is. I have to speak with her. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm wondering what's going to be changed with the dungeon. In single combat and finally found mother and that's all you have to say to me <laughs> nonsense don't you think i would recall such an event <laughs> she's got to be serious you're going to pretend as though it never happened she wants answers same as i do she demands you let me pass let me go to her again hmm i talked to some people that had played this game before and it seems as if the a uh, true ending of the game happens after you've beaten Hades ten times, I think it was. Either ten or eight. Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is a time or a place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion, then. Hmm. Yes, it's, um... I guess that's sort of typical of, uh, what is this, roguelike games. To save up for, uh, I'll do that. Hmm, but, um, it's actually, it's, a new sign from someone who still cares for you. it's actually fairly rare for me to reach the end of roguelike games. I typically, uh, lose interest by then or simply fall off. I was expecting that conversation to continue a bit longer. Father fell to you as once his father fell to him. Although you are substantially more merciful, I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me, what transpires subsequently? Have you ever turned? Did you locate your birth mother? I did. I, she was there. She was where you said she'd be. And more than I imagined, but I must have overslept her. I can't survive up there for very long. Why didn't you tell me I'd just die no matter what? Oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but I did not know. Or I did not wish to believe that the service would have such an effect on you. 
But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father sent me. But he is smugly waiting for me every single time I make it there, and seems quite healthy by then, all in all. Though, maybe the farther we get from this realm, the worse we'll get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume. You are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I have so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. As mortals do. Hmm. I'm wondering which weapon I should take in this next run. Tell me that the rumors are untrue. You really vanquished him. Have you come quickly enough to end? The queen of Victoria is gassed at heart. Come on, mate. Father had it coming for some time. What do you think then, besides? The house is safe. He's not going to take this lying down. He'll find some way to take it out on you, on all of us. You watch yourself for all of us will pay. I will not let that happen. Here's the latest tech check. Kaffer. Totally worth it. Oh, that was a lot of uh gems. Oh, hello. Who are you? Alright then. Moving onwards. What was I? Ooh. Ah, I've escaped, so. A prophecy has been foretold? Yes. I broke free after all. Sort of. Ah. Oh. And I've claimed all of the boons of Demeter. That's a bit of a surprise. I've had her the least. Um, amount of time. Yet I finished her quest before most of the other gods. Alright. Well then, I actually have some gems to turn into the house contractor. May as well improve my bedchamber somewhat. Chthonic bedding, perhaps? There is nothing left in work orders that I can get. Yes, it's all purely gems. Well then. Here's the food. Want to have a fancier bed then, Not I suppose. Time for sleep of late. You do not need another blasted bed. Well, believe me, I agree. Saw something new in work orders popped up. What was that? Chambers may gain an Erebus Gate. Purpose of House Contractor? Um, so the first category, Work Orders, um, improves is it, the, um, the dungeon in some way. So, while I'm in the dungeon, if I take this, my Weapons Dark Thirst also grant, or no, yeah, Weapons Dark Thirst grants 20% gems. Um, not entirely sure what that means, but it improves some aspect of my dungeon. The rest of these slots are all purely cosmetic and uh, change the layout of the uh, home beforehand. But work orders all improve things, and these are all at this point costing diamonds, which you get from uh, defeating a boss for the first time, or... Let's see, you can trade them 10 nectars to 1 diamond. So they're a bit tricky to get. Um, but as for now, I'm just upgrading my bedchamber right now. And keeping a lookout for the point where I get any diamonds. But I'm wondering what this is. An Erebus Gate? Doing the challenges at the outer reaches, I'm wondering. It's probably some sort of optional challenge door. But it costs five whole diamonds. The 
fine addition to the bed chambers. Now I have a new bed, which I still probably can't sleep in, but it's, just right softness. it's there now. Hmm. Alright, I did also gain a substantial amount of darkness. I suppose I will get another faded authority then. Two curses. Why not? There we are. Hmm. An ideal 40% bonus damage to enemies marked with two debuffs, so... That is actually a uh, very particular thing that I want to work with. So what exactly happened with the formerly King Finder over there? Now it's got these sinister orange flames and an enormous patch of punishment hanging ominously over the exit. Father stopped by. Pal, I don't know a thing about it, honest. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden, wham! I get hit right in the back. I fall to pieces, no idea what's going on. When I finally come to, the window job was done. There's likely an explanation of any, I guess. Hmm. I'm wondering what that's going to do. Ah, oh, perfect. I had wanted to go out with the gauntlet this time, and it has the darkness buff on it as well. Is there anything I can do for revealing? Effective Demeter? Just the one that I already have. Talos. Magnetic Cutter. I'm going to hold off on that. Prepare. Our father's changed the terms of our relationship. Compel and Lord Hades to serve you a pact of punishment. Here's how it works. The pact can make Oh. Sir. Jotania. Yes. Oh, Pact can make escaping more difficult via various nasty conditions. Each condition you accept adds more heat to your heat gauge. While your heat gauge is full, you earn valuable bounties. You earn one bounty the first time you vanquish the boss of each underworld region while your heat gauge is full. Once you successfully escape, you can earn more bounties if you turn up the heat. Hint. You can earn bounties for each weapon. How much heat you need is per weapon as well. If things get too hot, try switching weapons. Right. And then, all foes deal bonus damage. Any healing restores less of your total. Okay, all costs are higher. Foes in standard encounters appear in greater numbers. I wouldn't. I don't think I'd actually mind that too much. Three measures. The new techniques. Interesting. Rest. I might want to take that one up just to um, spice up the combat a little bit. And I can always turn it back down. Ah. All right. I can just stick with one then for now. So that's how you earn more of each reward then. Interesting. Well, it ought to. There's a prophecy. Ah, and a hammer. Hmm. Now I do quite like the base form of the fists, so the hammer is not as desired here. Long Knuckle. I've yet to get that one, so I suppose that is the one that I will go with. Oh my, that is a lot longer range. It almost looks as if it's the base form of the spear. Ah, but it does not seem like dash attacks have increased range either. That'll present a bit of a challenge. I wonder, do they pierce enemies, though? Hmm. Judging by the pure... Or not pyramid, the pillar. I'd say it's likely. 
Alright then. I wonder what Demito has for me. Oh, I still have uh, Demeter's horn. That's why she appeared so early. familiar with that story. Interesting. Oh, I think I may want to take the beam again. Because I don't particularly fancy cold on the fist attacks. Is there anything down here for me, I wonder? May as well find out. Take a bit of damage. Hmm. I do not like the minus movement speed. More. More money. I like that one quite a lot. I have no real desire for any additional currency, but having a better dash attack is certainly appealing. Especially with this weapon. I suppose Demeter is getting another gift out of me. Or into me, I suppose. She is the one giving me gifts. Alright. Those hands are quite bothersome. Welcome back, Demeter. I suppose I could use that. I did take a little bit of damage opening the door. Might as well. I will avoid that coin room, as it is currently completely useless. Alright. Hopefully I can take care of this. Ah. Oh, interesting. I can actually pull in the boss with that. I was not expecting that. And I destroy the skulls in a single hit. Oh, yeah. I didn't take too much damage. I'm expecting some good gifts from you, Ares. Special Inflects Doom. I might want to take that one. I do use my special somewhat frequently. Not entirely out of the question. That's very useful as well. Especially given that my special is very adept at, uh... Is it? Clearing out shields. I've actually forgotten what the Chaos Boon does for me. Dash attacks, that's right. Be very patient. Comes for later. Right, I felt like I was a bit late on the uptake there, but uh got it in the end. I am opting for bonus health as uh, 
I have no idea what the new ability that the boss will have is. Better safe than sorry. Ooh. It is quite amusing allowing the... What is it? The Doom? To kill them? I've forgotten the name of it, unfortunately. Whatever Hades... Or not Hades. Ares. Huh. I thought there must have been a skull somewhere. Or a skull pile, I mean... More gems would be nice. I can handle whatever it is in here. Especially given that um, I already defeated the mini-boss of this level, so all this could be as a challenging encounter. Hmm, that's a lot of skulls. Barely any challenge at all. I want to upgrade with the pomegranate. Probably the doom buff. Given that I'm actually very rarely using that ability. I suppose I will try and keep them out as frequently as possible. Those pots all survived with very low health. Alright, come back here, you. Delicious. Ah, an entire 40% boost. Hmm. I'll take a little bit of instant treasure. Why not? I probably should have re-rolled this room. I don't have a build that relies on money, really. Oh, it's going fine. I've run into some fairly good boons. My special is, um, very strong right now. Oh, may as well go shopping. Oh, lightning. Kills me. Attack in its chain lightning. Dash causes a strike. Oh, I'd like that if it was a bit higher rarity. I suppose I'll take it now. Given that I'm going into a boss fight and I can sell it or replace it later. Yes. No, no worries about, uh, missing any- Oh! This is interesting. Alright. I may have... Misjudged how much the difficulty would spike. I suppose this is what happens, uh. uh after you've beaten Hades, you have to fight all three of the sisters at once. That is very tricky to dodge. Oh dear. Alright, 
So it's not actually all of them at the same time, but um, it's pretty close. They're each uh, lending aid to Megara. They aren't actually fighting alongside her. I was, uh, sort of hoping that she would be a bit easier to deal with, but, uh, seems that was a ill-founded hope. Right then? Just gotta dodge that consistently. Ow. Alright, but it seems like I'm, well... I'm going to be able to do it. It was just a question of whether or not I uh, lost my death defiance. Alright then. Another Titan blood. Alright, so then I can actually start uh, investing Titan blood into my weapons. Well then, time to, um, replace my attack, because I don't really want Demeter around that much. Oh, voice line gotcha. Give me a second. Um, I suppose I'll also explain the concept of gotcha in case you are unaware, but a gotcha is... Hmm... Um, basically like a type of gambling. Um, and as you probably see from my redeem page, I have various rarities of voice lines that you can request. Uh, and the gotcha allows you to randomly obtain one voice line that I will do on stream. Uh, and it gave uh, percentage-based rarities for each of the options. So I'm going to open up the roulette wheel and we will see which voice line we land on. Ah. Kekakudori. Which means just as planned in Japanese. All according to Keikaku. Keikaku Dori. Alright. Yeah, so that's only the second time that's been redeemed, I believe. Let's see. So. Which item should I go with now? I'm feeling... Like, I may want lightning. Hmm, but I want status effects. Overflowing cup, then, I suppose. Let's see. The main problem is that this debuff doesn't last very long. No problem. Alright. I would like to sell the lightning strike. Don't particularly need that right now. Life gain. How about some more treasure? That seems good. Alright. And then, on to... What is this again? Asvidal? Yes, alright. Good to know I'm actually remembering the names of these places. Now then, from what I remember, I shouldn't have to face an upgraded Bone Hydra. Because each level of difficulty only increased to the level of a single boss. Oh, 
we are. Let's go. Attack speed, please, armies. Epic level at the very least. Hmm. Fine then. I'll take the common attack speed buff. I need I I no longer need any keys as far as I can remember. Other than down the treasure path it is. Hmm. The bell tolls for thee. The ability to relocate enemies is actually very useful. It lets me pull them out of his range. Okay, no. Drap. Oh, that was uh, a lot faster than I thought it would be. Interesting. Eurydice or dual boon is tricky. I may want to go for the dual boon. Very risky. I think it may be worth it. first, though? Thanks, Zeus. What do you have for me? Hmm. I was hoping for better items, but I suppose I'll take Lightning Strike once more. As I remember, Hades, or not Hades, but uh, Ares is not the easiest opponent to face. Stand still, why don't you? Seemed like he wasn't being drawn in very much either. Also, uh, I take back what I said Ares is easy. These are so slow moving. I'd have expected him to have a bit more power being the god of war. And stop running around so much, making it very difficult to kill you. Lots of bombs going off right now, though. I suppose the, uh, what is it, the fog that was appearing was making it rather difficult to see those Ares as well. Hmm. Alright, that's actually good. Because the debuff will last longer. There we go. Now then, hopefully, I'll get a chance to... Oh no, if I go here, I could get jolted. And a high level jolted would be very useful. It is a bit dangerous, I am on rather low health going into a uh, pseudo boss battle hmm. 
Oh, no. Very difficult to dodge those ground waves. Not a fan. And crystal. For me. Jolted, there we are. Ah, and the key. I can actually alter that. Treasure's fine. I'd like more boons, but uh nothing wrong with a bit more treasure. Ooh. One of you. Come on down. Pretty tricky to consistently have the oh, debuffs stacked on them. No. All right, bonus health. I'm very low right now. I could definitely use it, especially considering I'm fairly certain I'll be. Ooh. I was close. I uh, I heard it coming a little bit. Only a slight jump. Ah, oh, and a fishing spot. I feel like I never get this many fishing spots. No. Jump too much. Very annoying to kill. And a Medusa head as well. Oh. Oh. She died very quickly. Sure, why not? Time to. Close, there we are. Yes, the, um, the defense of the shield is very strong. The fist weapons are, I find, a lot more fun to use. Oh. So, is it Hermes? I feel as if Hermes, oftentimes, has good boons. You have for me move speed, bit of wealth. I'm sturdy. Oh, I suppose I'll move a bit faster then. Mm, will I be able to defeat this boss with mm, boss without a death defiance used? Certainly hope so. Yes, the Hydra shouldn't be any more difficult. I feel like the problem that I often have with the Hydra is that I'm not careful enough. The Hydra requires quite a lot of concentration. You have to actually be anticipating the attacks. Meanwhile, I just dash in like a madman in order to deal as much damage as possible as quickly as possible. Such a pain. I'm definitely losing a death defiance here. Uh, 
I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. I'm actually getting remarkably close. Mm. Ooh. Again. A dodge I did not think I would make. Oh, right. I forgot I had this. That should trivialize this fight a little bit. Oh, if not trivialize, then make lightly easier. Especially given that I can shoot it from a safe di- Why is your head all the way over there? And now I can just focus on taking out these eggs. I don't think the Hydra can do too much about it. I'm actually rather glad that I didn't have to use a death to find there. Sweet, no more heads. And I got another diamond. Alright. Unfortunately, I feel as if this upcoming chamber. Yes, I didn't get quite as much health back from that as I would like. I as well keep Dionysus around. I'm not actually using any of his boons, but uh it could be useful, down the road, somehow. Alright, the Elysium. Oh, and a hammer. I'll take it. I did say earlier that, uh... The hammer is never really my preferred with, um, the fist weapons, given that I already enjoy how it works at base form. I just do enjoy the hammer. Off goes the soul. I was sort of hoping that would be the final one. Oh, a butterfly ball. Never am I more full of hatred for butterflies than when I play this game. Uh, because normally I don't hate butterflies, but uh... This game certainly does something to you. Alright, Hammer. Attacking causes you to become sturdy. That might be useful. Ah, but slaying foes giving 2% health is also very useful. These are all good, as a matter of fact. Hmm. If I could take all of these, I would. Given how low my health is, I feel as if draining Cutter might be a necessity. Let's visit Dionysus. Do you have anything for me, my drunken friend? enemies going to spawn. There we go. Oh, very useful that the uh, attack draws in the archers. Means they can't hide from me. Get over here. Oh. I've made that connection earlier. That is basically scorpion. Dionysus, what do you have for me? So sad. Do you not mind dead by now, you ugly Zeus? He's calling you a lot of good things. That's a huge kidney in your pops, okay? I suppose he's actually a drunken cousin. Hmm. 
That's not too bad. I could use a bit of health. Take a little bit off the top. Dionysus, the Greek god of wine. Wine and partying. It's, um, what is it? Dionysus has a very strange history. Last fires longer and inflicts chill. That's actually very good. Alright, yes. Um, let's see, there's a YouTube channel. Oh, what's the name of it? Uh, Overly Sarcastic Productions. They do a lot of videos on uh, history and mythology. Uh, and they have a very good video on Dionysus. I do recommend it. And then, pomegranate. I don't think additional skills are what I need, I just want to upgrade the ones that I have. Is there anything more irritating to deal with than you? But, um, if I were to... I guess, describe it in short. Dionysus is a very strange god who has origins that are a lot older than many of the other Greek gods, despite being a very young member of the Pantheon, being one of the last ones to be added. It's very interesting. Because he was potentially imported from other cultures. And the Greeks only uh, started worshipping him as he came over from a different culture. Well then. I'll take bonus duration on the cast. One of the most powerful things I can do right now, honestly. Hmm. What do I go for? I think I'll try and get a call off of Dionysus. Not something that I normally do. But it could be interesting to see. Alright, dropping those. Those can deal with the butterfly ball while I take care of these ads. No, you don't. There's no way I'm letting these ads spawn enemies. I don't want to deal with the butterfly ball any longer than I have to. Alright, I can probably just focus on the ball. There we are. Oh, that was easier than normal. Ugh, one of them made it. No way you can hide out of the crossfire of all that. Alright, what do you have for me, Dionysus? Hangover dash. That might be fine. Cheers, mate. I do wish it was where I ended, though. Alright, let's reroll this, see if there's anything good. Darkness. I prefer gems. Treasures. Whichever the proper nomenclature is. Oh. That is a lot of exploding chariots. Oh, good thing I have my casts. Oh, okay. I'm just going to keep casting at these enemies. Pulling them in leaves too much room for explosions. Ooh. Oh. That pot has gold in it. What? Oh, I was stuck there for a second. Ah. Oh. 
Please die quickly. Alright, good. That was the last enemy. Alright, actually, what do we have here? I could definitely use that. I'll take a random item. Stygian Shard. What do you do, Stygian Shard? Perhaps deal 500% damage to foes. Interesting. I don't think I've ever used that one before. Huh. It'll be nice to see how it works out. Oh. I actually have so many different ways of inflicting status ailments to enemies now. This is becoming very easy to apply my 40% bonus damage. Blue crystals are quite a pain. Fortunately, they are uh, incredibly easy to deal with at this point in the game, given how my stats are. Alright, come on. I think the easiest combo for applying two different conditions is probably cast and basic attack. This is a lot of mess right now. That's fine, allowing one of them to recover. As long as he didn't pick up a shield. No, you don't. Dying far away from me won't, uh... make me miss you. Too hopeful. Now then, what do I want? Souls Hangover? Cast damage might be nice. Still a very weak cast, but, uh, probably the best I've got. Another duo room. I'll take this one. I'd actually like to get Ares's call. I think I want to go for Dionysus first. Do more damage while three foes are hangover out. A fountain restores all health. I don't think there's going to be too many fountains from here to there. Hmm. I already have so much healing. I think I need to take positive outlook. Bad influence is just so difficult for me to trigger at this point. Second time this run as well. It's fine. You aren't really a bother to deal with. Oh. They're black now. Also, thanks for activating Positive Outlook. You're already being useful. Yeah, I wonder if they've turned... What is this, gray or black? Because of the level of difficulty that I'm at? Or is it because this is the second time I've rejected him? Using Death Defiance bonus damage. Slaying a foe next attack or special. Urge to kill, I suppose. Not much else to it at this point. Hmm. I'm running in a very dangerous level right now. My health is negligible. I think I need to go for the shop just to get some healing, if there is any here. There is. Good. And Ares again. What do you have for me? Ah! This is a duo feat.
Interesting that they're just competing in the last room. Alright, what is this? Hangover deals damage faster. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah, I suppose I'll have to take that then. Power up do we have though? Because I'll improve my dash. I did just, uh. What is it? Increase my. There's words that I'm thinking of. Right. I suppose, um, what is it, the Drunken Dash is actually very useful against Minotaur. Because it typically goes to where you were. Oh. Well, at least I have a positive outlook. Ow, I just got hit by two massive axe swings in a row. Ah. I got hit by something there. Not entirely sure what. But I definitely did not expect to get through this with all of my death defiances intact. That is for certain. Alright, Minotaur. Just fall gracefully, please. so difficult to dodge that attack. I am not a fan. Because he seems to be able to change the direction that he dashes very easily. Alright, he's about to, uh... Yep, there we go. Ooh, that's, um... Pretty tricky to deal with. Ugh. I don't lose my last death defiance here. Ah, there it goes. I was so close. Right, there he goes. That was unfortunate. Hmm. Oh. But at the very least, I beat him. What do we have? Well... I suppose I don't need Dionysus' cup anymore. What do we have from here on out? Perhaps a Myrmid Embracer might be nice? I'll take it. I don't believe I ever have before. How unfortunate. No replenishing defiances for me, then. Hmm. I do not expect to get past Hades this run. Very unfortunate. Huh. Bit of extra money, though. Ah. Uh.
Oh, I suppose we'll see what is in store. Who first, though? Pomegranate first. Getting late? Alright, enjoy your rest, Aaron. It's late for me as well, so... As I said, this is the only run that I'm doing. I shan't be going any further. I seem to actually be getting use out of the Myrmidon Bracer after all. It's actually rather nice that they show you when it's activating. You snakes. These snakes are annoyingly good at attacking. They keep it up so long after you'd think they would have stopped. That is, um, a converging point. Ugh, not more of them. I don't imagine I'm going to be going very far this run. Especially not with these... cursed serpents. Laser beams are... very difficult to dodge. With this not being the last room, I don't anticipate making it too far. No, I don't have room to sell anything now. I need healing. Can you offer me anything, please? Having a call would be nice. But strong drink might be necessary. Hmm. Alright, I'll take strong drink. I'm guaranteed a fountain at the end of one of these paths. Alright, Ares. I would very much like to gain your call. It is one of the more powerful calls available. In my opinion, at least. Perhaps I'm wrong and not up to date with the meta stats of this game, but um, just from personal experience, it feels like turning invincible and dealing damage is uh, pretty good. Fairly useful. Oh, so many snakes. I will tread on you. Oh, another one. No, don't shoot your laser beams at me. I will be very upset. Right, and 
well. Could have used that. Alright, I'll take both of the other ones. What does the Prometheus stone do? Prometheus stone? Oh, gain an extra cast. Alright. If this is the actual final one, it is. This is very good. Doom deals more damage when applied multiple. I can't do that very easily. I suppose I'll have to take... Well, none of these are good. Dire Misfortune's the only one that can do anything for me. Alright then. Hello, Cerberus. Right, well, I did manage to make it back to Dad, and I have full health, and my casts are extra juiced right now. This may be the best chance I have with fists, but I'm not entirely confident. Then why do you try and stop me? If you know I'll just end back down in Hades anyways. That is also pointless, isn't it? Either you kill me or I end up there of my own accord. I found her father, and I'm going to find mother again. And again and again until I have some answers finally. She'd like some answers too, beginning with why did you never tell her that I lived? You let her go and left her to her grief. Hold silence, boy. Save all your ignorant and baseless accusations. You seem incapable of heeding my request that you not blather on about a matter you shall never understand. Then I shall save my breath for this fight. All right, then. Darkness. Once again, casts are my only way to win this. Really. Oh. Did you have to apply boiling blood when I was directly next to you? Oh. At least I can stay out of range of those bloods. Come now. Oh, all right. That just saved me from a bit of damage. All right. If I actually manage to, ooh, ooh. If I actually manage to make it to his second phase, I will consider that a win. Also, it is. Annoyingly difficult to see him when he's chilled off ah, by my casts. Impervious once more. Let's get those casts running. Right, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it. This looks unfortunately hopeless right now. Ah, yes, there I go. Oh, I wonder if she said that because I had the Myrmidon on. Oh well. I made it back to Hades, but I doubt I am... At the level that I could beat him without the shield yet. Alright. Oh. Short stream. Actually, not that short. I went a uh, full hour 15. I suppose it's short compared to 
how long I normally go for. I suppose I will get a raid out of the way and then bid everyone good night. Good check who is streaming. Mm. You know what? Given that I am as tired as I am, I feel as if streaming, or not streaming, but uh, raiding as I am now, and just immediately dropping out afterwards doesn't seem entirely polite, so I'll just leave for now and end it with that. Um, good night all, and I hope you enjoyed your time here.